You're listening to the Tortoise and the Hare Experience. Exclusively on EnterTheShell.com and all across the Enter the Shell Podcast Network. It is the Tortoise and Hare Experience. And uh, just like every experience, and, and we, we just started this where it was before, you know, we would do one experience, but now we're doing uh, two experiences. Mm-hmm. So uh, I went first the first time, so now you can go first this time. Okay, let's see. What was my experience lately? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I manage a band called Downtown Attraction, as most of our listeners know, and we're getting ready to go into the studio. Uh, with the amazing Mike Clink, who did all the Guns N' Roses and Survivor, and you're familiar? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's, he's amazing. So uh, we're getting ready to do that. And last week, played at a strip club. Fantastic. Now, Cheetahs, have, right? Yeah, World Cheetahs. famous. I have never experienced anything like that before in my life, where a live band is on stage with uh, girls on a pole. That's yeah, the only way it should awesome. be. Yeah. yeah. It started me with taking my shirt off every time I go on awesome. stage now. Even better. With a bra. Oh. And <laughs> your next show is when? Well, actually, <laughs> so I think we this is the yeah. first time all year I haven't had one to say to come to. But well, because it could I be will. a show right now. I could be. <laughs> it could be a show. A right private now. show for me. <laughs> <laughs> Most it's usually just because I'm really hot and sweaty, but it seemed yeah. blasphemous to keep your shirt on at a strip club. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, it wasn't nude, but the, go ahead. The lead singer, Jack, Jack Cash put on uh, black tape over his nipples because he's always naked good stage <laughs> yeah it was so funny it was really hysterical I, I'd never experienced uh, seeing that like you know I, I don't have that much experience in a strip club in the first place unless I played one you know in a movie but this was uh, this was very like very odd I like <laughs> that it brings out the win in Rome yeah right. <laughs> so right. you know it's yeah, I was wondering what a guy that is a bit more open and free would do. So, that's, yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's Black what tape he did. And the nipples. <laughs> okay. I don't tape a little extreme for me, you know, <laughs> with the bra. But <laughs> it's a good time. Good time. Good time. Malice. Uh, this girl that dances over yes. there has this awesome mohawk, and um, she's all tatted up, and she is gorgeous. She's amazing. She's in my she video. Is so hot. Yeah. Yeah. I met her at an autograph show, and she came up to me. She's like, You're gonna be my girlfriend. <laughs> She's, great. she's like, I'm a big fan. I said, no, you're, I'm a big fan of yours. You're amazing. She's unbelievable. Watching her on that pole, I was like, I am never taking off my clothes again. Never. <gasps> never. I don't see why, <laughs> honestly. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's amazing. Yeah. So what's your experience? Uh, I've been experiencing dehydration uh, a lot lately. It's uh, very important to stay hydrated. I did something really stupid. Um, it was like 102 degrees, and uh, I went for a run. And when I run, I run about five miles. Yeah, and um, I hadn't been drinking water. I'd been drinking tons of coffee that day. And that was the first experience that I ever had where within the five miles, I stopped about six times. And when I was finally done running, I was completely dry. And I was kind of uh, hazy for a bit. And I had to pour water all over me just to kind of um, get my senses back. So, uh, guys, if you guys are running or whatever, please stay hydrated out there. As uh, when it is the summer, it yeah. does get to be a little bit more hotter and you lose yeah. a lot of water. I have a couple of suggestions for you for that. Um, first, start off. Don't drink coffee. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's the first suggestion. But start off start off with a protein shake. Um, like the ones over at, at Sun Cafe are so amazing. Have you been over there? Sun Cafe. Sun Cafe on Ventura and I'd Lancashire. Like on the west side. Yeah, well you, you need to be on this <laughs> side and try them because it's they're like powerhouse of energy. Mm-hmm. And then drink Kangen water. Kangen water hydrates your brain in 30 seconds. And you know when you drink water and it... Like I can't water just... <laughs> I haven't heard of no. that one. I drink coconut water for... Th- well, coconut water is very good. It's very hydrating. But, but Kangen, K-A-N-G-A-N. Um, there's a place in North Hollywood called Harmonious Waters. You can get it there. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's um, ionized water and it 
actually like in 30 seconds hydrating your brain god i need that yeah <laughs> And instead of when you drink water and you get that sloshy feeling, mm. you know, you get that, like, yeah. especially when you're running and it's like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. it doesn't do that. It just absorbs right into your this body. This is genius. Yeah, it is genius. It's amazing. So, Kenyan water. Check yeah. it out. So, with us is uh, Danny Rashi, which you can find on our website, Rashi. 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 Rush high. Like how I speak, my energy is like a rush high. Rush she high. is a rush high. Right. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, with her is Bo, which is the basis, right? Mm-hmm. Bo, what's your last name? Do you have Ashley. a last name? Bo Ashley. That's like that is such That's a, a stage name, name right name. there. That's you're you. looking good, Bo. Yeah. Thank you. I feel yeah, like you're are. a little far from me, but <laughs> it's okay. It's hot in here. Yeah, <laughs> it is very. You can't hot. move because he's stuck to the couch. <laughs> <laughs> And you can find uh, them on their website, rushhigh.com. And then I'll have the links to, you know, the Facebooks and the Twitters yeah. and all that on the show notes. Uh, we just heard the song, High Tides Collide. And um, wanted to speak to you guys about uh, that album with that name. Um, my head starts spinning when it comes to this album. Yeah. Uh, High Tides Collide, all puns intended, really, I'm somebody's very conscious um, well, I'm a very conscious person, and this album was extremely heavy for me. I actually had a nervous breakdown uh, Halloween three years ago, and living in an eight-bedroom house in the hills with my band and my producer and uh, people that we didn't know how long who act- had actually been there because the place was so big. But in theory, I was thinking, okay, a house big enough, we all can have our own space, we have like three studios, we can just focus on music, but... It just got a little crazy, and um, yeah. that being said, coming out of all that and everything else, because um, I end up f- finishing uh, the album at NRG Studios with Jay uh, Bumgardner, and uh, Jay Gordon was great to write with and everything, but there was a minute that I was wondering whether or not it w- I wanted to release it, because I was like, wow, this is really heavy going through all of this, and I started having fans tweet at me saying they're having a bad day at Rich Shy Music. Um, made them have a better, you know, better day, feel stronger. And I was like, what song did you listen to, by the way? I'm mm-hmm. curi- curious. And uh, they had said, Over the Edge, you and your denial is cramping up my style. And I'm like, okay, cool. Like, mm-hmm. I did make it out of all that alive, and it didn't... I questioned whether some things make you stronger, because legitimately, you go through some things where you're just going, okay, I don't... I'm here. I don't know if it made me stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, eventually, it's all does, but it all... High tides look I came back around full circle in so many positive ways. And um, it actually came from a free writing, I don't know if you noticed because I'm trying to be conscious of speaking slow, but uh, my producer had suggested something to me, um, because I've written songs in every way, shape, or form, whether the band gives me music, um, or I do it on acoustic and they record it because I can write on guitar, I'm not a guitarist, (laughs) but um, he's like, Danny, why don't you just write what comes to the top of your head, and as soon as you start actually thinking about it, next line. And that actually came from a free write that I came, um, I had the top of my head and um, yeah, I mean the lyrics of that song start off, miss the train with the rest, now you lie to your chest and you're laying low, quick tongue to preach but your Bible is bleached to the third degree. And I mean that's, I like to write smart and I also like to have fun and I, in life and mine and yeah. you know in particular <laughs> has been very heavy but I'm also a very positive person I love to have fun and I do stop smell the roses and if I haven't I don't think I'd even survive because it's say in a couple of days a week of my life a month let alone all 29 I will say hold on I've torn everywhere but um, I'm really um, excited about this album and that people are feeling strong from it and not you know, colliding in the yeah. wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> well, even uh, on your your hand, you were saying before that you have it tattooed that says "breathe." Yeah, you know, actually, reminding yeah. yourself to do that <laughs> and not just breathe. It has a period before it. Stop. Stop. Breathe. And breathe. Because <laughs> I realized, okay, stop. Look around. That stop is a big difference. <laughs> 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 really but I feel blessed with all these things that I have, but you know, reminders for myself are <laughs> right. good. So this show is all about sharing experiences and um, we shared our experience. Um, was very curious about an experience that you would like to share or any of you guys would like to share. I would. Um, having it, like I said, choosing one. God, there's so many experiences I'd love to share. But in particular, um, I think something that most people don't know 
this past year has been awesome as when it comes to I have been, have been booking shows my whole life and you know doing everything for the band and when I wanted to go tour Australia and I finished my first album I thought who's my favorite band and which happens to be some friends of mine in Australia made a phone call made it happen and what people don't know this year is every single show I've had I've had to go through a band member change and well I mean mm. I was a uh, it's rough playing I was in Maui and South by Southwest was coming up and I had five shows in six days and while I was gone I got a text that blew me away that I love I pretty much was gonna come back with no band I'm going I, I was floored and pretty much shocked and I for me to get shocked is still like sometimes I wonder how can I be shocked but I, that's part of not being jaded. I don't ever yeah. want to not be shocked by what things happened? that shock you. What happened? Where, where they um, just... And please do that again. <laughs> that was <laughs> all completely awesome. Um, I'm kind of... I, there's just a little bit of dysfunction and, you know, I had to get rid of... Uh, I fired myself. I, I fired, you know, well... The thing, the person who was in charge of the band at the time, because we had management, um, had said, you know, there was... Our, my band is very, very rock and roll. <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, with the house that we lived in, there was just a lot of things that, you know, got heavy on us. And long story short, I had to fire the band that I wrote with, the album with, and I fired myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to do what I need to do for you and for me, and I expect you to do the same kind of vibe. Well, that situation was kind of, I don't know how much I should dig into certain things. So <laughs> um, it was just... Uh, well, we're sharing here. We're sharing that's, here. That's what this is... Um, I'm just going to say that it wasn't, there were just some things not working and people getting caught up in some things, I guess, in their own world. And I'm going to leave it at that one for mm -hmm. that. Well, he, well, here's this thing in, and, uh, off air, uh, me and Mike, which, you know, thank you. You brought all the alcohol. No, it's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think there is, there's uh, right now I'm drinking, um, be before it was great. I was drinking, um, this, uh, wheat cherry beer by Samuel Adams. Mm. And now I'm drinking this bush beer, which I've never had bush before. That's my dad's, my dad's beer. Really? <laughs> I'm from Michigan. My dad drinks bush beer. Okay. I think there's one more. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll get you. Michigan we found. Yeah. yeah it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I wanted to talk to you about what, what the hell is it about bands being flaky? I, every now and then I go through a period of a month of where I book bands to be on my other show and they just all flake out. Well, having said that, I'm not a flake. And so to put this in a, uh, a nutshell, I am... Um, I got a call from one of the guys I started writing my album with to begin with, um, Jackson, and he goes, Danny, I heard what happened. Don't worry, you're gonna come back with a band. And it's funny, because I actually gave him the keys to my jam room before I left, and he had just moved back from Sacramento and wanted to you know, rehearse with his band, and my newest guitarist was in his band, and I walked in there going, wow, like, I love the vibe of you guys, you're amazing. Like, oh, My words are very powerful, so I'm, I, real, I realized this, I went, Oh wow! Like, I want your, I want your band too. I don't miss you being in my band. I miss you so much. Oh my God, I love you. You're, he's like my brother. He's so yeah. my brother. And so while I was gone, well, that's exactly what happened. I got his band. <laughs> oh wow! And they came through for me. They they learned everything while I was gone, and I was I was so blessed. And I had so much fun. We rocked five shows in six days at South by Southwest. I was in a room with five, you know, one room with four boys, and I one was <laughs> my, like my brother. But I just you know met him, and didn't even know that he just learned bass. You know, just a, I think a week or two before that, he's a guitarist, and yeah, Jack was like, "Well, if you want to play, <laughs> I mean, you need to play bass because we, we're playing guitar." And he's like, "Okay, yeah, there's <laughs> like, like, no oh, problem." <laughs> Sorry, oh, and like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but when we came back from um, from Texas, the drummer wasn't from here; he's from Sacramento. We came back, so Jack replaced somebody. And usually, these are th things that I start going, "Oh, I gotta go through this audition process yeah, again." Like, are you serious? Nightmare. And he's that kind of guy. I got somebody, Danny, solid. And he's just always been like that for me. God he dang He definitely Jack. knows how to recruit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> yeah. And like, I know he's not going to let me down. Like he's, he's solid and he's not going to have someone come in that I'm going to question. I already know. But mm -hmm. then we got asked, my brother, this guy he plays hockey with, um, did a show um, at the Grove of Anaheim and asked us to open for Great White and Slaughter. Now I'm a big major. 80s hair fan. <laughs> yeah. Hair fan, uh, fan um, as I am a lot of music, but um, that was awesome for me. But once again, new drummer right before that show. And, um, Jay Gordon, who I did my album with, I called him right after, you know, these guys came in the band and said, I know you're almost done with your tour, but 
can I jump on some of the last, you know, few shows? I was like, here's the numbers. And I ended up actually getting sick, unfortunately, to do the Vegas show with them. But, and then the last show we just had was once again, what show we do? It was an awesome, Warp, oh, Warp Tour. Warp Tour. So Warp I, get a, Tour yeah. I get an email. This is just after um, we do the Grove of Anaheim, which these are, that's, these have been awesome shows, which I didn't go out of my way to book. I got asked to do. And I get an uh, email from Ernie Ball saying, congratulations, you won Battle of the Bands. You're playing Ventura Warp Tour. I'm like, what? Was like Ventura? <laughs> yeah. I was like, okay, awesome. What? Did, did we sign up for that? <laughs> I'm like, okay. And I didn't expect, because I don't do like contests, but when I saw it, I'm going, I mean, I don't try not to swear. I can't swear. Right? You can say whatever you want. Okay. Say. Normally oh. I get in trouble. I can't believe I haven't sworn yet. Go Danny. <laughs> of course, the one time yeah. I can. Yeah. But I'm thinking, what in the, okay. And it goes off, you know, the judges from uh, Ernie Ball and from Warp Tour and through fans and how much you're being, uh, I don't know what's the word for it. Not just like, you know, someone clicking vote. It's how you're being trended. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, my, one of my guitarists had to go to court two days later and Bear tells me and he's going to yeah. have to turn himself into jail for a year. Oh. And I'm going, of course. Yeah. <laughs> uh, of course. So for Warped Tour, I'm going to have to have someone again. Perfect. Awesome. This is, I don't know what, how I'm not losing my mind. I mean, I have <laughs> lost my mind before, so I know what that feels like. <laughs> it's not a good place to go, but this actually doesn't freak me out. We can deal with this. It's somewhat annoying, but I actually, uh, a friend of mine, I don't know, you know BC? Mm -hmm. A friend of mine, the Black 22 is uh, epic people. Um, that we share some friends in common. Oh, love too. them. But uh, they were texting me, congratulations, I heard, you know, Warped Tour. And I'm going, yeah, I haven't told anybody, but um, <laughs> my guitarist <laughs> is kind of going to jail for a year on Friday, so kind oh. of trying to figure that out. And I don't really announce these kind of things via Facebook. I always try to be a positive person and don't make excuses, you know? Like, we're gonna go rock it, and I'm not gonna, you know, put out there, Oh, and by the way, because, yeah. oh, by the way, happens to me all the time. Right. <laughs> so it, it would just kind of be awkward and seem very unstable. That should so. be the title of your next record. <laughs> that should. You're right. <laughs> you know, and on the contrary, I'm actually not flaky at all. I'm trying to move, and sometimes it boggles me how prog things keep progressing, and all these things keep going in the way. I'm like, I really, I mean, I can run without shoes, but it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know? but exactly. And, and talking about your shoes. They are amazing. Oh, yeah. So if the audience can <laughs> see <laughs> that, <laughs> you, you hold those. These are pretty fancy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the legs. Or something? The legs <laughs> kind of the legs. help that out a little bit too. The booty shorts. I'm <laughs> really loving These the aren't shorts. shorts. I do have booty shorts. Oh, do okay, put them on. There's a difference. <laughs> put them on There's immediately. A difference. <laughs> there is a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just lo I'm in love with you. <laughs> Are you single? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you get hit on a lot, right? I always feel like a well, I, I'm technically married. Oh shit! But I mean, he's, he got deported years Forget ago. So I don't actually okay. know if I am. He was deported. Oh, perfect. Oh, and so I mean, I'm not married. I okay, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> She's married. Kind of Damn married. Like I said, experiences. Damn it's kind of like you take that one out of the hat. Which <laughs> so oh, your man. experience at Warp Tour. Um, I know that Michael Grant was the one who yeah. came in and filled that spot. Which is why I actually brought up BC. Um, I te he had texted me saying, well, if you need a guitarist, let me know. Do you know who Michael Grant is? And how we did not know each other, or like we've like maybe passed each other, saw each other, but because we're both the rock side of our hippie right. um, <laughs> um, electronic crew. And I, w I couldn't even, I don't know if anyone can actually understand when I say, I really appreciate someone saying, oh, well, you know, if you need a guitarist, and if anyone in this given radius, it's like, you're going to get hit. <laughs> and not because I'm not thankful, but because just that idea alone is like, yep, I know that. Yep, this, uh, I'm <laughs> if you knew how many, mm -hmm, yes, uh, trust me, <laughs> I, I, this is what's going to probably have to happen, but I'm hoping that, hmm, <laughs> all right, tomorrow, if, uh, when I can breathe, I will call you if, I, if, I, if I need a guitarist, which I'm going to need, so wow. I can't breathe right now, but I'll call you tomorrow. And so I was on my way to the airport. Um, I say airport. Hey, <laughs> yeah, well, it is Ventura. I was going to the airport <laughs> to drop off someone to the, uh, you know, county. <laughs> and, um, county airport. And I mentioned, oh, you know, a friend of mine, if I'm going to go through somebody, I'm going to go through my Dirty Beetle crew. Like, they're solid. I love them. They're they're not going to do me wrong okay. and it's not going to be stirred up in a whole nother pot of stew that you know i've <laughs> tasted before i love i love you know different kinds of stews but this right. one we're gonna go with this one <laughs> and 
I mentioned Michael Grant. He goes, Danny, you don't know who he is? That's like best case scenario. He's from Sacramento. I'm like, you guys know each other? He's like, yeah. He's like, we both came up, you know, he was in a band called Die Trying and he was in um, Endeavor was After. Okay, yeah. I was learning about all their experiences, but Michael goes, oh man, Jack is one of those people in the industry that he come up to me and go, dude, you're a better guitarist than me. He's like, you are a friend in yours. He's like, he just gave him so much. Jack is such a humble person. And it's funny because if we meet him, he's got jokes for days and can almost seem like cocky, but he's so not. He just <laughs> is like so solid and so humble and so sweet. But he's like, Jack's one of the only people that's not a hater in the industry and like gave me all these props. And I'm going, he's actually between him and BC, like they steered me in your direction. And I wasn't sure where I was going to go, but those two people just went, I'm like, okay, this is, Thank you. Thank you so much, <laughs> universe and guys. And yeah. Yeah. Which is how I ran into you. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Well, we had met, you know, before that, because um, we, we run with the same hippie crowd. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> Love and it. Yeah, we do. So, um, so we had met before that. And then uh, you came to Michael's show, and I managed Michael Grant. And uh, he's been out with LA Guns, and they happen to be playing in Hollywood at a place called Loaded. This club, let me tell you, <laughs> I th you, you think it's hot in here? <laughs> yeah. Oh my lord! It's like this. It's it was the like size being of, inside of a, yeah. a, a sock. Exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. Just, uh, We're like nasty, sweaty oh. sock. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, I kept my leather roll. coat on all night long. <laughs> but, but, I didn't see, I can't. Literally. I just do. I just lovely. It's an awesome place. It's rock and roll, you know. Yeah. 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 So, you know, yeah. But. And, and and I'll tell you this from a photography standpoint. There's there's no picture looks great unless you're like completely sweating. You're capturing that just sweat and yeah. like the shirt yeah. with oh. You feel it. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god! The last show we played. It's so funny because there's so many shows you play where it's just. I love, I love performing. It doesn't matter if there's like you know a million people or two people there. I, but I really do as well as you know. Um, yeah, we're all about live. Who is this? Um, my Rodney? Rodney is his name. Rodney. Mm -hmm. I, I came in a little bit late, fashionably rock star late. Looking <laughs> <laughs> um, like they come I got in to late anytime. I listen though. to him talk and play, which was awesome. Yeah, Rodney but, um, I do love to play intimate shows, and you know I'm a bit of a monkey, so. Jack having a wireless is always awesome because then I can don't have to ask for a drink and go get one myself, which is like, oh genius, thank you. <laughs> but the other night was just so hot and like I don't think I've ever been that hot, even when it's been crowded. It's I mean just drenching where like my shirt went off before the boys. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean when I say clothes. shirt off, I mean I have a bra on. But <laughs> it was just wow, like pouring off like and turtle right now is thinking it's really hot in here just be in a bra i mean <laughs> come on <laughs> yeah, but you know what i would like to see i would like to see a, a message on your bra you know like i know i usually wear quotes too on my t-shirts okay Blood. but on your bra you know that's a good idea it could even be like the you know instead yeah, of like whatever. madonna has the you know it could be like the, the tassels yeah you know, rock love. that'd be cool <laughs> That'd be very cool. You, you can be like the butcher babies and just not wear a shirt at all. Oh, they do do that. Actually, that, Jack's, that'd be great. Um, his roommate. <laughs> Chris Warner. We love Chris. He's yeah, awesome. He's, uh, yeah. They're on tour right now. And yeah, it's dude, always a small good. world. Yeah. It really is. It definitely is. Actually. Yeah, the music industry is extremely small, yeah. as we know. Shy.com. And if you don't <laughs> know uh, the, the correct spelling, all that's on the show notes, just in case. Because you know what? everybody A U S H I. Shy. I wonder where I got that. Where, where did you get that from? It's my last name. Oh, it's okay. Shy, I know. <laughs> t t you know what? I have a, a, a thing about that. Tell me about creating a name. And, you know, for some people, they, they pick their last names. Some pick their middle names. But, you know, because naming a band is very different. You know, you want to, you know, symbolize who you are. But at the same time, you don't want it to be all about you. For sure. And actually, the number one reason why it went to that is... <laughs> that trying to get a band name that one and especially nowadays man I wish you know this years and years and years and you know Led Zeppelin was available per se <laughs> <laughs> it is because <laughs> <laughs> I mean you go in and there's just one to get something that's for lack of better words cool because there's you know I just nothing was really vibrating that it was seemingly too hard and my um, business partner a few years ago he goes I didn't even realize and he starts laughing. He goes, you can't even get away from it. He's like, it says 
you rush in your name. And I have a lot of energy as a person. And he goes even backwards, it's like I rush, rush high. There's, he goes, that is you. I'm like, well, yeah, I know, it makes sense. But most <laughs> people can't, usually they say Rashi or something like that. Right. And people couldn't say, well, you can't say a lot of things, even with education, but I like to educate people. So, <laughs> <laughs> which is, like, lyrics are my number one outlet for, uh, to be a creative outlet for um, educating someone and stimulating the brain. Because lyrics are meant to be, I believe, um, and to move your soul and to be um, right. almost like that music whisperer, you know? Yeah. Yep. And uh, I take a lot of pride in my lyrics and writing. So. Names are funny, though, especially with, with last names, you know, because the, the pronunciation of them can be a million different yeah. things. So it's that's a, a funny thing it's like um like my my first name is michel and it's spelled m-i-c-h-e with an apostrophe l-e michel but nobody pronounces it that way they say michelle they say michelle those michelle you know all these other names it's michel that's it so i go by max okay and i can't tell you how many people have a problem pronouncing max really that's ridiculous okay now that is is i can understand you know explaining and uh, um you said misha michel 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 um that is you know as far uh communication Mm -hmm. but max i mean i don't understand how else three letters right how you would think you know (laughs) it's max not so hard but you know turtle's a hard name it's well i i, I spell with two r's yeah and, and that's confusing well see now you're just trying to confuse people yeah <laughs> well i'm really i'm really dj turtle you know what i mean but it's like it, it becomes a mouthful so it's just yeah. like hey you know we're friends just call me turtle you know i actually wish that um well the one band name that i would love to have the band name um but i'm not going to change it again because i had a band name before my when I did my first tour through Australia, my first album was under <laughs> a fetamine. But it's not about, it's not a fetamine. Right. It was just, I thought it was funny because I'm, it wasn't about drugs. It was like, oh, I'm, I'm like an upper, I've got all this energy. And <laughs> I wasn't this crazy like crackhead. <laughs> I just <laughs> thought it was cool funny, name, like a play on words, like, album title. like yeah. Aunt Me Tame, which kind of doesn't make sense, but kind of does. And which makes sense to me but um then when i was um when jack and i first started writing (laughs) some of the girls in our house it's called us eye candy and i'm like god the guys take way longer to get ready like i'll leave without makeup any day i don't really care are you wearing makeup right now well i'm wearing makeup today i thought it'd be fancy for you (laughs) (laughs) oh yeah but uh i would love to see you without makeup (laughs) (laughs) in the morning in the morning most days most every day actually um and you too bo by the way oh yeah (laughs) very very good looking (laughs) thank you (laughs) but if i haven't had so many band name uh, name changes my girlfriend I told her this would be the next uh, album title. She said you should call the band according to Cat, and her name's Cat. <laughs> <laughs> and nice. I went, that's actually really good. And yeah, according to Cat. <laughs> yeah, nice. And it's like easy that. to remember. And yeah, that's I a mean, good you yeah. really can't. I mean, unless you yeah. don't know how to read. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're gonna stick with my last name and figure that one out. <laughs> now, now, whose idea was it um, for the band name for the I to be a zipper? Mine. And why, and, why, and why is that? Even though, I mean, it's very erotic because I want to just... Can Ironic? I, yeah, yeah. because I, what I want to do is I would love to see erotic. the zipper just fall down just a little bit. Yeah. You know? I, <laughs> I think I do that enough just with the energy of in the band. It's kind of almost like... I like to do things that make sense. You pull the zipper and just let it flow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you have... To, I mean, there's a lot of things you read into that one, but mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I just thought it was funny because being... Uh, that the band is Rashai and I've always been very conscious of trying to make sure that I'm not I, I don't want it to be all about me but being that I've had to go through so many band member changes it's been well it is right has been now you know it comes down to it's my band and I'm just s- opening up you know and and, and uh, you know uh, she's very spiritual you know and whatnot and you know just uh, 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 wanting you know uh, everyone to be involved you know collective mm. you know as uh, a whole I'm glad uh, you feel that one entity you know, <laughs> you know, that that sort of thing you know, that's kind of that's so. a beautiful thing that you know you as a member of her band 
you know, are feeling that from her. Yeah, and yes, as a leader of the indeed. band, that you're you're expressing that enough to where he's, you know, getting that, and he's not like, oh, she's the boss, you know. But no, well, it's, actually, it's an plugged open in. You know, you have to plug in and you know, and and go for the ride, you yeah. know, uh, or you know whatever but it's like and because yeah, of the changes we've gone through like i you know thankfully i'm with guys that i longevity. respect <laughs> and like love to death and like i you know i know my energy i rub off on people and it can be in the best way possible like when i'm in if you're in a bad mood i w i'll take to the next level like i will do everything in my power because i just love yeah i rock love level. like you can actually like if i always tell people i was uh if you hashtag rock love you'll actually find me and <laughs> I have people like all the time that will end up going through my website and finding me because of rock love. I'm like, that's awesome. Yeah. But um, I had actually realized, you know, these guys were new, you know, very, very new. And um, I was very, very frustrated about some, you know, certain things. And of I, just, course. Uh, I kind of blew up just going, all the guy was trying to do is <laughs> my drummer actually, and all of them were just giving their two cents. And I don't want someone to feel like their two cents is not valid no matter if they've been in the band for two days or two years. But I was just, no, no, this is not how we're doing it. You don't understand. And I kind of just blew up and then I went, oh my God, I just saw m myself rub off on him in such the wrong way that I like, when I came back from going to the bathroom, he was gone. And my guitarist went, yeah, I told him just to go home. He was having a bad day. And mostly he was having his own bad day too. But I went, oh my God. I, it, it, I don't want to be that it, person, so I chased after him. I'm like, let's go get a margarita. <laughs> it's very difficult. Let's talk. It, it, I found it's very difficult, you know, in, in female-fronted bands because, you know, uh, a lot of the guys, you know, they, they you know, yeah, they, they, they like, you know, but then you know, testosterone and raw, you know, yeah. say, you know, it's, it's very difficult. So you have to, you know, uh, deal with a girl who has a nickname called D Balls. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, it, and you know what? <laughs> That's such a great point because I've never, you know. Yeah, it's valid. Yeah. You know, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, in, in uh, the industry, uh, it, it, it's it's uh, it's you know a problem for uh, a lot of female you know artists you know. Wait, what's yeah. the problem? So <laughs> <laughs> you? No. I mean, sometimes. Yeah. It can no, be. I, it, it, I'm it, not it, perfect. It, 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 can, it can be uh, rephrased. It can be. You know. Oh, I'm just curious. I'd love to listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like listening. Yeah. No, th but that's that's a very a very true point. You know, being a, a female in the music industry. I produce right. and I manage bands. Getting that respect from She's them, awesome. you know, it's, yeah. it's multi-talented, you know, and whatnot. You know, keyboards, guitars, you know, and everything. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's the junk right there. <laughs> she is. Yes, yeah. it's. it's no, I definitely. take pride in doing everything that I do, but it gets really stressful when, you know, I, I had someone, you know, trying to upgrade my website, and I decided, okay, I waited so long, and I'm like, I can do this myself screw it I just start doing tutorials for everything and I end up like I all the videos on YouTube I edited and I'm actually editing I'm um, going through and started I learned Adobe Premiere Pro in one night and I have all of us um, over the edge the song you just heard actually we just recorded our first music video um, on Red Cam and actually I'm gonna skip from what I was saying because <laughs> that this song I'm so excited to bring to life um, a visualization of something that seems almost so heavy but has such a positive outcome and in the video in a, in a nightmarish way <laughs> yeah. but it's you know you have to let go uh, there's, yeah positive you, know, you have to positive, let go of what know, no longer is good for you it's, and it's uh, scary breaking, breaking through you know i mean you know uh, a lot of people say that whatever but actually you know it is it's 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 just it's just you know simply breaking through you know well being pushed over the edge you don't really pushed know over the edge you know and whatnot and breaking through let me finish this <laughs> 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 but being over the edge you don't really know what you're gonna do until you've been pushed that far and like I said I did have a nervous breakdown in the middle of this album and um, when you have been pushed that far you either have you either hit rock bottom and you never come back or you break on through the other side and you brush that shit off your shoulders and keep going and mm. in the video you see it brings you to speed that I've been through you know a lot of heavy things that really would break your heart anywhere from boyfriend band friends um, you know things with love and life that just really weigh on you and um, I end up at this rooftop downtown LA and I let go and it seems like I'm ending it all and but as soon as I get close to the ground I plow through like superwoman-esque and land on this underground stage and bust the shit off my shoulders and my band's there and 
How convenient. <laughs> well, you know, it's like, uh, it's, bam. But the energy is like, opposed from the scene before, you know, like, it's uh, the energy is just like, it's like they're waiting for me to break through kind of vibe, you right. know, and it feels so good. And, you know, the, and so I have a tendency to, I have, I have a lot of uh, <laughs> attitude. And it was so good just to bring that, that rock love side out and be so happy to be there and just feel the energy. And a lot of my, I told my, a lot of my, um, uh, Dirty Beetle friends and some and all my burner friends I'm like please come dressed as whatever I want to land and be like what is it that if you could who is it that's you and then what makes you so happy and like you know whether it's being in a, a suit or a tutu or you know bunny ears whatever it is that, that's you or like, speedo I, I want to yeah, your speedo <laughs> I want to like be on your level and I want to be like I, I want to rock with you that way you know so it was really cool to um, do that and a couple of friends of mine actually they rocked it for me they let me uh, use like fifty thousand dollars of staging and lighting for free i have some awesome awesome friends can they be my friends <laughs> <laughs> right? immediately well, you know and high tides collide fully came full circle where i've only had you know before amazing people in my life and when there was some crazy turbulence which you know i'm very conscious to realize i am like a tornado but with tornadoes there's debris and just because an intention is good doesn't mean that when you're that powerful of a person, the words you speak, like I can say something and I have to be very careful because <laughs> I know it will happen. And just being really conscious of all your words, like I would, I learned a very young to vibrate out negative words such as, uh, you know, don't, can't, won't. And I'd be driving and I'd start to say, oh, I can't, I can drive on the wrong side of the road. I'd just say, you know, weird <laughs> things, of that, the opposite of what, and that's how I vibrated it out, you know, and um, which is, yeah. <laughs> interesting i find but um it's yeah very yeah so we're gonna be releasing that soon anyway i'm getting all <laughs> yeah. getting ahead of yourself <laughs> getting ahead of myself no worries so. just rushing around yeah <laughs> uh, i wa wanted to talk to you a little bit more about the uh process of you diving into the video realm you actually editing um because you know i'm i myself am an editor as well mm. and um I, f I find the process uh I, I don't like it <laughs> well you know because you, you're focusing on your not yourself but you're focusing on everything and yourself is yeah, in there yeah and you're just like for me i, I find myself looking at myself and saying oh why did i do that or why did i say that and say, you know so it kind of takes me out of that editing process um can i have a sip of your beer <laughs> um yes. i do understand what you're saying completely and there's days where I find it really frustrating and especially like this is my baby, you know, to get this, to bring this to life and all this. And I don't find myself to like, to think that I should be doing this because I need someone who's an expert at this and I have other things I need to be doing. But w the first edit I saw from, I was kind of just like, well, I mean, I started putting something together and already what I was doing, I'm like, okay, well, start you know no one's gonna dig into all of the footage like you so i know exactly like i'll wait why don't i just go through and lay down the groundwork that way i know like i'm a very big critic on myself i'm not kissing my own ass by any means because that's one thing i do not do actually i know when to step back but there's i actually realized well this could be a second career for me like i actually do enjoy doing it but i also like it takes up too much time and then there's days where it just does my head in because i'm going okay options could be my worst enemy right now i'm like do i go three seconds here two seconds here do i clip it like this i'm like and then it's like how do you you know i just spent all this time in the intro maybe i should just go through and so it's it's uh i think at the end of the day we'll see like i'm gonna lay down some groundwork i'm looking for somebody that i think who is way more uh experienced than i am right you know to uh, make sure everything comes out and they could you know have polish it up or and I want them to do you know their thing but I definitely after uh, going through all of it and kind of getting back and seeing what was chosen like there's a lot of really really great footage mm -hmm. and um, so I want definitely want to make sure some of the best things are in there yeah, <laughs> these sure. guys rocked my world I mean I I like laugh in a good way because I'm just going no they did not I mean just so good like there's so, like the performance they do on stage and as people they crack me up in all the right ways not like haha that's like bad like they're a genius and just like that you can't get that kind of swagger like <laughs> for real like that they do like i was watching a video the other day and um these guys are like they're 
not because they're trying to show off. They just, it's in their soul. No, the emotions are very real, you know? And then I'll look uh, back, there's yeah. someone with, you know, like shooting each other with the bass or the other guitar, and then the other ones jumps off, because I love to interact with the audience. But I watched the, um, oh, Jack's wife was filming us the other night, and I look, and I'm going, no, you did not. He had jumped up on stage, playing, rolls back, feet in the air, rolls back up, back on his feet, and I was just going, <laughs> no, you didn't. Like, that was one of those moves that you see, like, it's like gotta be planned kind of moves, but right. nope. I mean, that's just uh, the monkeys. And I love, I love the monkeys. I, and I mean, that's one of my favorite songs as a kid. <laughs> Instead of jumping on a bed, they're jumping on a stage and I love them for it. <laughs> that's awesome. Don't you find that like, you can't just be a musician these days. Oh, you for know, sure. Like your responsibility as uh, being in a band, you have to do so much. Yeah. You have to, you know, do your social networking, your videos, you know, back in the day, um, which I hate that term, but yeah, I'm gonna use it sure. anyway. Um, back in the day, you you just played. Yeah, you know, you didn't have to do all this other stuff, so you can concentrate on just yeah. you know learning your instruments yeah, and uh, stuff. But now it's you like you have to be ah. a businesswoman, a businessman, you know, and whatnot yeah. in it. And yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's got its crazy. you know, it's, it's got its positives and negatives for someone who especially has to deal with all of it. Right. Cause, I mean, I toured all over. My first tour was in Italy. And then I toured Australia. Like it was actually years till I actually toured in America. And then, but then I, all I had was MySpace. You know, mm -hmm. there wasn't all these other things. And I didn't have to keep, you know, putting, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like saturating my MySpace. You know, it's like you put it up and people, you know, they look at it. And then, you know, people do posters and they, you know, do the things they do for advertising shows. And it wasn't until, you know, starting touring America and then Twitter and Facebook and all these different things come out, Instagram and there's Vine now. And right. you try to, st and I'm very hip to all these things and I'm very thankful too because I mean, that's, Twitter's actually been something that's, when I start seeing people retweet and like, then I'll see they put me on a blog and like, you know, just things that people come up with and do because they truly like are, they feel the music and not because someone's cramming anything down your throat. As a matter of fact, you see other people retweeting and then they're, you know, getting fans from this and like, it's just really actually refreshing. Tw Twitter's like one of those things that is way different than Facebook and everything else. It's actually, you see people, um, helping you out. Yeah. And getting the response. And I personally like to go in and, you know, I don't, I don't have some robot or have, you know, someone management, you know, going in and I, I respond to everyone personally when I can, you know, so. I mean, I was in Vegas all weekend, so I haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> I take some good time, too. I, yeah. did, I did not pick up my computer. I may have done some Instagramming, but... <laughs> yeah, you can get lost in Vegas. That's for Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you know, that's one of the things that I'm finding more and more uh, about myself is that I I'm sticking to the reality and not to the digital reality more and more. Um, I, you know, with, with End of the Shell, I should be Facebooking. I should be doing that stuff. But sometimes I'm just, I'm just too in, in, in real life. For sure. You know. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes yeah, it's a blessing because it it's you like, in and it's you know you get lost in that and it's like you know. And it's eh, six whatever. in the morning and yeah. you're still sitting yeah. there. Oh my it's god! Like, right. <laughs> where is my life? I know. <laughs> I've been eaten in three days. I know. <laughs> I've, I've survived off Doritos before. Just from <laughs> I'm like, how long have I been sitting here? I'm like, my, right. I get up. I've got back problems. <laughs> <laughs> you got crumbs all over your chest. I know. I'm it's like, great. I need to go for a ride. <laughs> you know, start playing, there. Uh, playing piano, pick up guitar, do something. I'm like, oh my god, my fingers hurt from playing. This is not right. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of playing guitar, I, I know you did bring your guitar. Were there I any did. inclinations? I. It's okay. Uh, so no pressure. No nothing. I would love to. Okay. The, any of the songs on my album, I, I'm a. I wrote my first album on guitar. My bandmates, I'm usually you know play with them, and he's uh, the bass guitarist, and. I didn't know this morning. Well, I should know, but like I said, I've oh, had to have a new bandmate that. every uh, show. I'm left-handed. He's <laughs> lefty. Well, in the, so I was like, "Well, you can play yeah, it on so guitar, random, right?" And we, had, you know, didn't go over, you know, anything. So it's not going to happen. Well, no, he's a lefty, and I'm going. What do you mean restring it? I'm like, I mean, they're not that dead of strings. Yeah. And so um, I was hoping that my uh, guitarist might blow a swing over here after work, but. No worries. I have to come back and do a little special treat for you guys. I would love that. Because um, I would love to do something live for you guys. Yeah, yeah. That. That, that'd be great. Uh, just, you know, get it with Max and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll plug in and, yeah. you know, have you guys come back. Maybe we can yeah, convince sure. uh, Michael Grant to come in here too with us. We'll that'd be we'll Get both guitars. Yeah. We'll get the yeah. acoustic bass. And yeah, so let's, let's yeah. say that right now. I'm Michael fun. Grant. Yes, we're searching. And, and, you. If, I, and if I could say <laughs> this, uh, uh, Michael before. Grant, he's been on the show the most out of any. Really? He loves yeah. Oh, this show so great oh good yeah. so he loves coming on it's gonna happen <laughs> yeah. yeah he was I'm on with sean barry 
Yeah. He was on by himself. Yeah, by himself, and, and you know, maybe with you guys. Yeah, and they would be. I actually hit him up this morning, going, "I know it's a bit unprofessional, like <laughs> an hour from now." But he's yeah, I mean, on the plane. Yeah, so. he's not here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's out with uh, LA Guns. They're working him to death, that poor guy. Yeah. <laughs> he's got no sleep. Yeah, so very cool having you guys on. Thank you Thanks so much. Um, there's so much that we still I mean, need to really get close into. close to shirts coming off. It's uh, really hot here. We'll, we'll yeah. stay for another hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you can guarantee me that shirt's coming off, we'll, <laughs> there, there will definitely be another well, segment. What's his shirt? Yeah, I love his shirt. Off. That's such a great shirt. And, you know, it's, it's very 4th timely. of July. Yeah. And, you know, you. we're... Good choice. Right, yeah. It is definitely a good choice. What are you guys doing for 4th of July? I don't know, yeah, actually. Don't know. I usually know, but I don't know this year. I've got, you know, a friend of mine um, is playing in Hollywood, and I kind of just figured I would figure that out tomorrow. <laughs> 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 I've been too busy. Tonight. Tonight. Wait, what is it? Today's the second? Yeah. Oh, well, it's tonight, it's fine. tomorrow. <laughs> Today the second? Today. I thought today well, I, I know we record. I'm going to mosey in with those Beatles, you know, and get yeah. it ready, so. <laughs> right. And For on sure. Friday, you should come down and uh, at the Viper Room and check out Downtown Attraction. I would love to. Awesome. Yeah. That's Everybody hear that? awesome. Downtown band Attraction. You're, you're coming? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Turtle. Hey, you got to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I get offered so many um, shows, you know, like every day there's always a band. It's like, hey, would love for you to come out, to see me play here or there. And it's just like, look, guys, <laughs> when I come out to a show, it's because it works in in my, totally. you know, in, in my timeline, you know, like and a lot of times it never does. But I tell them, I'm like, look, I know it's not working out right now, but get get this. Yeah. The time is long mm -hmm. and one day I will see you yeah, sure. you know so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna see downtown attraction yeah well you've seen and i know before. when i play yeah. you're gonna come see me because you want to see me take, take my shirt off if okay. you can guarantee <laughs> me that <laughs> shirt will be that coming here. on <laughs> oh as a matter of fact my shirt is staying on damn, <laughs> damn it see i got you <laughs> yeah, you did okay okay now get this uh, I, I will i will uh, raise you you let me uh be a photographer as well for your show so Done. i can cap because i need to capture this shit for me i mean i just win again because <laughs> i appreciate just someone winning, winning, winning. Winning. Yeah. <laughs> please do that I, but here's the thing i will be taking photos until the shirt's off That's you know we just, became, straight we just away. became playboy radio <laughs> <laughs> what happened yeah. and actually i did a little research and i know that you have you do, um, there's something that you do with Playboy Radio, right? Uh, no, I don't do anything with Playboy Radio. No, your daughter. Oh, but well, somebody, uh, my daughter. Your sister. Daughter. My daughter. <laughs> your sister. <laughs> my sister. Everybody yeah, says everybody that. does. Yeah, um, no, she's my daughter, and uh, she's 20. I know, frightening. Uh, she's she's a gamer awesome. and a model, and she's been on, on Playboy Radio. Oh, very cool. She's very attractive, yeah. very yeah. hot. <laughs> yeah, my other Playboy relationship is something else. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell, please. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, we're out of time. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. Uh, <laughs> um, to the max. Yeah. <laughs> Guys. Oh, the hair for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. Really you. appreciate it. Really love listening. I was listening. actually going to ask you guys a question. Oh, okay, fine. I'm not sure how much you, of the album you got to listen to or whatever. Yeah. But I was curious what your favorite song was. Um, here's the song that I liked. It was Over the Edge. Mm -hmm. I like that one. And then I liked the slow one. He's Trying to Save Me? Yes. And I'll tell you why I liked it. Because... When I was listening to it, and, and I, you know, I researched you, and I saw that um, the guy from Orgy was like, you know, helping create the album, and it was so unorgy esque. Actually, all these songs are extremely oh, unorgy esque. Yeah. It's actually funny because when I um, went in to meet with Jay, uh, Jack and I had brought an acoustic, and I just got back from touring in Australia, and a friend of mine, Jimmy, that LA band, picks up the guitar and he starts playing um, the song Never Knew actually on the album, and we go in. To meet Jay and he's as ADD as I am. We talk fast, we're multitasking, <laughs> and he's like, "Okay, cool, play the song." Do, you know, on the board, kind of going through some stuff, and Jack starts playing, and I start singing. And to get either of us to focus on something, I mean, we focus, we can multitask, but he stopped listening. Like, and you listen to the whole thing, and he goes, "Okay, take that and swing this," and then he goes, "I, I'll do this for the chorus." And I'm like, okay, this was when I was 20, 23? Um, so a year ago. 
<laughs> wink, wink. And, I, <laughs> and I, I'm, he says something like, uh, da, 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 something baby. I'm going, I don't say the word baby. It was, like, it was always like very, you know, I don't. Now it's, well, it's a, You should say the word baby. Well, Every I, song that's a hit has I baby had this in weird, it. Like, you, know? you know, the song is about my mom, actually, and I don't say the word baby. And Jay's like, okay, you're going to let go of that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually had, you know, it was, we had a very, very inst- interesting um, time writing because we would either clash big time or be the best of friends. And that's not anything bad to say. We both know that. But um, having said that, we both learned so much from each other. And I'm at, at, the, at the end of the day, we both trust each other's opinion and because we've worked so intensely with each other and have so much respect and um there are some songs that i went okay this is not a j thing like because he is does have his you know the thing that he does and he has this more um and nine inch nails and you know brings mm-hmm. this and i which i wanted to actually incorporate some of that into it but the songs were they all breathe and they come out the way they're supposed to yeah and um but the acoustic songs I said, I don't want you to touch because I, we're going to turn it into a dance song. <laughs> and I'm like, but over the edge, actually, I had a different chorus for that one. Um, he's trying to save me, me and um, Joey Holler wrote that, uh, that together. And some of them, like High Tides Clyde, I wrote all the um, uh, lyrics for that song, except for the one line, um, because you read between the lines. And of course, that's the one line you remember. <laughs> I'm like, this is why I love working with Jay. I'm like, that really, that one line? You're genius. But, um, yeah, but for Over the Edge, the um, like a deer caught in the headlights, we never watch Animal Planet, and we're he's watching, you know, showing me some gazelle or something, and on you know YouTube and taking a break, and then he brings up this line like a deer caught in the headlights, and I'm like, okay, enough Animal Planet. I'm not, I get what you're going with this, but I'm not singing it. And he's like, come on, just try this. I'm like, I already have a chorus written for this, and it, I get very like deep in what it's about, and yeah. which this obviously all is. Like, makes sense completely and he gets me and so I mean it's not like this is not what it's about it's just you know I get very very deep in things and going okay enough Animal Planet whatever and it ends up being our single and <laughs> very very catchy and love it <laughs> but um, it's just you know do you have a hard time uh, accepting not criticism but accepting something it's, it seemed that you were fighting a lot with him when, when he kind of knew exactly what well sometimes it's opinion and um, there's certain things I actually would uh, te- we'd I think we test each other with, which I know that I did, um, because we both have so many different ideas about things that um, some, you know, even you know that one line, I was trying to, like, you know what? I know Jay's gonna throw one out there and it's gonna nail it, you know. But mostly I like to have, you know, I do. I'm a songwriter, you know, right. and um, at least have all that laid out. And if we collaborate, then you know, we do it pretty well together. But there's definitely some things every now and then I go, I don't want that changed, you know. I, now it's just opinion and not necessarily good or bad it's just opinion and that's where it gets into the like okay but actually Jay if you're listening yes. at the end of the day <laughs> he's oh, he always ends up being right yeah. he does and I, I <laughs> I'm like oh. but that's what made it easier you know by the end to write together because it wasn't so much of it wasn't like I wasn't trying to I wasn't trying to battle with him and it's not about being right you know but uh there's a reason why I love working with them and that we put up with each other. <laughs> but it became really easy by the end because, you know, when you uh, can be that close with somebody and, you know, you're trying to get your point across. And so hopefully it does. Otherwise, it's going to be a mess. <laughs> Okay, well, um, guys, uh, <laughs> I guess now we can end. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's not. I mean, we, we got on a tangent. We would stay here all day with you. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> we could move in. Move yeah. in to Noho. Oh, that'd you. be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, Mark Doty would have a hard time. Uh, uh, I would kill Mark Doty. I would <laughs> kill I have <laughs> stories for days. I love to talk. <laughs> 